Hello, this is JJ. If you came here expecting uh, to read something, to hear me read something religious, like the Book of Mormon, then you came to the wrong place. Here's my disclaimer for this video. This is for mature audiences only, so don't let your children listen to this video. Please go on over to JJ Reading Scriptures or BRO GUE V as in Valley A R R A R E A D I N G. Okay, before I get into some of these Playboy party jokes, I'm going to tell you a joke, Catholic nun joke from my days in Catholic school. I'm supposed to tell these Catholic nun jokes in pairs, but I forgot the second one, so here's the first one that I remember. So a guy loses a bet to his friend, and his friend says, as your punishment, you have to go into a store and you have to read a Playboy magazine so that you get an erection. Oh, wait. You have to go into the store naked so that, and then get a Playboy magazine so that you get an erection. Then you have to go buy a loaf of bread and a carton of milk and pay for it and then go stand outside the store holding the loaf of bread in one hand and the milk in the other hand. So he, so because he loses the bet, he goes to the store naked, looks at a Playboy magazine, gets a boner, goes to the cash register and pays for the loaf of bread and the milk. Now at the exact same time, these, uh, these three nuns come out of the convent, start walking down the street, the same three nuns that were picking mushrooms in the other joke start walking down the street and the guy comes out with his boner and his two items the carton of milk and a loaf of bread and he realizes this is the first time these nuns have probably seen a penis so he freezes like a statue and puts the two things behind his back so the mother superior says look sisters you have this is a, a fine work of art uh, come and observe you know the sculpture and how smooth it is so the first nun goes up to his dick and starts stroking his dick and he starts getting really horny and he, he's, he's losing his grip his palms are getting sweaty he starts losing his grip on the carton of milk so he just drops the carton of milk right between his legs and the nun reaches down and says look sisters I got a carton of milk so the second sister says let me try I want to observe the uh, fine craftsmanship of this statue so she starts pulling on his dick now he's getting really really horny here and uh, so he can't uh, hold on to the loaf of bread so he drops it right on the ground the second nun says, look, Mother Superior, I got a loaf of bread. <laughs> so the Mother Superior goes over and starts stroking on his dick. And by now, the, the cum is already like brewing in his balls. So he lets his jizz all out in her hand. And then the two sisters say, come over and say, Mother Superior, Mother Superior, what did you get? And she says, hand lotion. <laughs> that looked like <laughs> well, how is it any worse than the other ones? That's pretty hard, yeah. Okay, so the reason why there's a washer in the background is because we have to clean up our act because we're reading such a dirty joke. <laughs> All right, December 2000, Playboy Party Jokes. This first joke I thought was dumb, but Doug pre-screened it, so he approves. A man came home from work and sat in his easy chair in front of the TV. Said to his wife, give me a beer before it starts. Fifteen minutes later, he said, give me another beer before it starts. A few minutes later, he again asked for another beer. Don't you think you've had enough, his wife complained. It hasn't even been half an hour since you got here, and you are already had two beers. You're nothing but a drunken couch potato. The husband rolled his eyes and said, now it starts, he moaned. <laughs> <laughs> Playboy classic. Just as John and his wife started to make love, their six-year-old son burst into the room. What are you doing, Dad? he asked. You know you've always wanted a brother? the father asked. Well, I'm putting a brother inside your mom, and he'll join our family in nine months. <laughs> the boy thanked his parents and closed the door. The next evening, the dad found the boy in front of the house, crying. Hey, what's the matter, son? Dad... You know how you were putting a brother inside mom for me? The kid said, well, the mailman ate him this morning. <laughs> what? Along the same lines, what are the three words you really don't want to hear while you're making love? Darling, I'm home. <laughs> a, young a young man... <laughs> A young man was sitting on a train across from a blonde woman wearing a miniskirt. Despite his efforts, he was unable to stop staring, and to his delight, he soon realized that she wasn't wearing any panties. The blonde noticed his stares. Are you looking at my pussy, she asked. 
Yes, the embarrassed man said. I'm terribly sorry. No, oh, it's all right. It's all right. She said, it's a very talented pussy. Watch this. I'll make it blow a kiss to you. <laughs> sure enough, the pussy blew him a kiss. The man inquired, what else can the wonder pussy do? I can also make it wink, she said. The man, in amazement, as the pussy winked at him. Come, sit next to me, she said. When he did, she said, would you like to stick a couple of fingers in? <laughs> wow, the fellow exclaimed. You mean it can whistle too? A group of con conservationists was trying... Again, the person who transcribed this for me had really sloppy handwriting. A group of conservationists was trying to convince Wyoming ranchers to use more humane methods of controlling the coyote population. Rather than shooting them, they proposed the animals be captured alive and the males castrated and released. To So that's a really fine idea, one rancher said, but I don't think you understand the problem. These coyotes ain't fucking our sheep. They're eating them. All right. This month's most frequent submission. This is a really long one to be the most frequent submission. I'm kind of suspicious of that. All right. An older Jewish man married a young woman, and though they were much in love with each other, the wife could never achieve an orgasm. They decided to ask the rabbi for advice. The rabbi listened to their story and made the following suggestion. Hire a strapping young man. While the two of you are making love, have him make a towel over you. I think that... Oh, have him wave a towel over you. That will help the wife fantasize and should bring on an orgasm. The couple did as the cleric suggested, and as they made love, the fellow sensuously waved a towel. But despite lengthy lovemaking session, the wife was still unsatisfied. They were willing to try anything, so after a brief discussion, they decided to reverse positions with the young man in bed and the husband waving the towel. The young man got to work with great enthusiasm, and the wife soon had an earth-shaking orgasm. <laughs> the husband smiled. You see, young fella, he said triumphantly. That's the way to wave a towel. <laughs> I'm going to bring that to my uh, Jewish client's birthday party. A blonde was sitting, no, excuse me, a blonde was standing in front of a soda machine muttering, You are, uh, look, what? You are a dumb looking button. You don't have much of a future either. You're going to be replaced by a much better looking button. What are you doing, her girlfriend asked the front of the machine. That reads, depress button for ice. I yeah, I don't get that. What are you doing, her girlfriend asked the front of the machine. That red depress, that reads, depress button for ice. Yeah, I think he's supposed to say, that reads, depress button for ice. So basically, she was talking to the button, making it feel depressed. She was insulting the button to make him feel down on himself. Button. But it says, depressed button for ice. Well, so the first blonde walks up and is trying to figure out how to get ice to come out of the machine. Okay. So And it says, depressed button for ice. So she's talking to the button, being very insulting, so that the button will feel sad oh. and the ice will start coming out. Uh -huh. Second blonde woman comes over and says, "No, you're supposed to say depress button for ice. You're supposed to press the yeah. deep depress it. Depress. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That would have been better if the guy had neater handwriting. I could have delivered that better. Let's talk about Harry Takayama. First appeared in the second season of Full House, and also appeared in season three of Full House. Was Stephanie's boyfriend? Uh, Stephanie is the one that always spoke with a lisp and said, "How rude." Um, and in Fuller House, uh, Stephanie got a mysterious bouquet of flowers and wondered if it was from Harry Takayama who sent them. And this is like 30 years later. So, uh, obviously she still harbored feelings for Harry Takayama. So I think she lost her, uh, her cherry to, uh, Harry Takayama and his Japanese chopstick. You know, it might be long, but it's, uh, thin and brittle. Um, all right. So we're going to keep these videos shorter, so uh, no, the dream of the 90s is alive in Portland. Well, um, no, is the second one? 
How many minutes are we at? I don't know. We are at. Uh, we're just gonna here. Another seven minutes somewhere. Um. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. So if I read this, it'll be twenty minutes. All right. February. Another one. Like, yeah, stop it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me say something. Lacy, lace, laces are untied. Let's tie them up. <laughs> I need, I need to put the um, girdle or what is that thing called? They found the uh, women. Um, the sexy thing that makes the views pop up and make them skinnier. Corset. Gurneys. Girdle. Girdles. I need to tie them up. I need the laces girdled up. Undone. <laughs> anyway, no.